Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So this chapter is about connecting to database and this class we focus on how to connect to database by using servlet. Right. So before we want to connect to the database, we need to set up the installer in order to help us in retrieving the data from the database okay so you need to prepare two files which are mysql server and also the mysql connector so mysql server is for us to create the database and also all the tables and MySQL connector is used to make a connection between MySQL and also our web development uh, uh, software, which is Eclipse. Okay, so the uh, address where to download the installer are given in the slide as shown uh, here. Okay, then, okay, this one. Uh, is the interface or where you can download the uh, SQL installer and also the MySQL connector. Okay, however, I also provide these two files in our Google Classroom, so you may download all these files from the Google Classroom. Okay, so in this uh, example or tutorial, I'm using MySQL connector Java version 5.1. 0.47 and also my SQL server is 8.0.20 eh? not 0.13 okay so this slide also provide you step by step on how to install the MySQL server okay you may follow from the beginning until the end until you finish install the uh, MySQL server okay so you may follow next step by step Okay, right, don't forget to set the password. Okay, and then usually we are using uh, username ROOT root. Okay, so for us to easy remember what is the username, sometimes user don't want to create the password and then they leave it blank. Or if you want to create a password, please remember your password and put somewhere else or anywhere that you may find it when you forgot your password. Okay, so the last two interface just ignore and you just click finish. All right, so when your server is ready, okay, it will pop up one window which tell you you are successfully made the mysql connection so please insert your password and user name to test your database connection all right so if you got a uh, error during the installation such as this one click you need to click one by one product and make sure all product be installed and then sometimes if you fail to install the mysql you just ignore the product that are listed in the requirements then you just click next to proceed okay okay if the product in status manual such as MySQL for Studio Visual Studio was not able to be installed, you just click next button. Okay, so this is the first interface when you already successfully installed the server. Okay, so before you enter the, uh, the second interface or to create the database you need to uh, double click at the local instant mysql at window here okay to enter your password all right so this is the interface the workspace for you to create the schema or in this case data base so in the example uh, 
show you how to create a schema or database name server. All right. So if you still remember, this is the SQL statement for you to create the uh, table okay, by using SQL code. Or else you may use the icon database plus here to create a new schema. All right. Okay. So uh, next one. This is the another interface. All right to implement the SQL statement in this case, which is select star, all right, to view the data from the table. Okay, so we stop it here first. I want to show you uh, the MySQL server uh, and how to create the SQL, uh, sorry, the servlet database, right? Okay, so okay so let's say this is your sql server or workbench which has already been installed okay so this one okay how we want to create the database so first of all we need to enter here first all right so let's click the local instance mysql at Okay, so, okay, uh, as you can see, uh, the MySQL server didn't ask the password because I already uh, got in to this SQL server for many times. So, only for the first time, it will ask you to enter the password. So, how to create the database or to create the schema so you also can use this query uh workspace okay to enter the uh to enter the sql code or else you just use this tools or icon create a new schema in the connected server so just click the tools okay name the schema all right okay before that i want to check whether uh what are the name or schema that has been created before so i already has the servlet schema so i want to give another name such as servlet or student eh? yes click Table student. Okay, and then you look at the button uh, at the bottom of the workspace and then click button apply. Okay, and then uh, it shows you the SQL script to be implemented or to be executed. Okay, so you just click apply. Okay, so finish shows you that the expression has been executed and successfully created okay so one table student has been created here the database student okay so how to create the tables you can explore the schema student here and then if you want to create table okay you can go to tables just right click and then you create, choose create table. Okay, so let's say you want to create undergrad table student. Okay, and then column. Okay, what are the column that you want to give? Let's say here, column name, name, letter type. Okay, sorry. Okay, suppose it's Vacha. Okay, is it you want to set as primary key or not? If yes, you just set yes or else you uncheck the button. Okay, why is error? Okay, it could not set new data type. The given data type is Vacha. 
So better change the column name to return ID. Then it can become the primary key. Why we cannot set the uh, primary key as uh, a name because uh, there are many students has same name. Okay, for example, number two, we want to give the column name as name. Then you can set as Pacha and then what else? Gender. Also. Not now. If the if you want to set as not now, you can set as not now. UK unique index. What about B? Is binary color or not? Okay, you just follow the uh, type of the attribute that you want to set. Okay, then uh, if you have finished to create the attributes, just click apply. So the MySQL server will show you the SQL statement. The SQL code, if correct, then you click apply. So successfully applied to the database and then click finish. Okay, then you can see at the left pane in, at the tables column, one table name undergrad has been created. So if you want to give the value, okay. Okay, so if you have to give the value. Okay, so you can choose send schedule and insert statement. Oh, what's that? Okay. All right. So, if you can see here, there are three icons at the undergrad table. So, the first one is I. I is for the information of the table. And then uh, the second one is the setting table. Okay, just now. Okay, if you can, if you want to set the indexes, the foreign key the triggers, want to do some partition, so you can choose that. And last one is the uh, pane or the workspace for you to run the SQL code. Let's say if you want to add values into the table undergrad, so like this, okay, so you can uh, navigate here, okay. So let's see, student ID 111, M Ali, and the mail, second one, 222. Two, two. Iman, A, and the rest, 333, Alia, and Amy. So, you can explore whatsoever that you want to set. You want to add row, you want to insert or delete, whatsoever, and then click a line. You want to insert new value to the table under Okay, finish. So these three values has been inserted into the table under crack. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you.